Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Uh, 2 minutes 18 seconds, which is probably slower than usual, but uh, that's okay. Maximum points you can obtain from cards, so as soon as I read this, I also knew that this was a for loop. Um, and, and yeah. Uh, yeah, for this one, I think at my current reading, it's just like, okay, am I missing anything weird? I'm looking at the constraints. I said, oh, um, like, uh, just wanted to make sure that I understand the problem correctly, so I am a little bit slow on this one, to be honest, it seems like. Um, just on the reading comprehension part. I do take my time a little bit on Q2 and Q3, because sometimes I feel like in the past I've rushed it a little bit. Uh, and it turns out that I did this in about... Eh, just under three minutes, so which is you know very respectable time. I'm not going to complain that much about it, but yeah, I just set up the base case of uh, summing the first um, k numbers, uh, and then now I just take it, I just start adding stuff from the back of the array, and then uh, subtract it from the back of the beginning of the array. If that makes sense, um, yeah. For more explanations. Uh, you know, click on the link and skip to the back. I do explain the solutions more in depth. Um, maybe a little bit more anyway. I do. Ha I think I have an illustration. But uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I was... Um, I think I do spend a little bit of time making sure that uh, I don't have any off by ones. Um, and here I'm thinking about the indexes and I was like, wait, the X is kind of wrong because you now you're subtracting from the beginning of the array. Um, but I wanted to... Add from the back first, uh, and then I'm just thinking right now about off by ones and the exact index. Um, it's like, oh wait, no, you want it from the back of the K. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as I got roughly the right answers, uh, Oh yeah, I did not get the right answers because I forgot to max it. Um, and then I was like, okay, now it makes sense. I get a 12. Uh, so I did take some time here, uh, maybe 30 seconds, which again for a three minute problem is not it's a bit of time. Uh, maximum points you can obtain from cards. Uh, mm -hmm. This is also proof for us. Um, Yeah, so this is also proof force. You just do left and you do the right and you do counting. I did, wow, two minutes or seconds. Uh, yeah, I just forgot to put the best here. I was just trying to be really careful about the off by ones. Uh, there are a lot of off by ones potential. But otherwise, it's just proof force. Like here, take the first K and then slowly incrementing, or sorry, slowly take one from the back of the beginning of the queue and then add one from the back of the queue uh, and then add the points. Um, and then just test all that for the best case. So that was the second one. Because uh, basically my, my idea, just to explain it a little bit, because I feel like sometimes I hand wave this a little bit. Um, so here, uh, so my idea is that first you take the first K and then say K is four, and then you remove one from the back of the front of the uh, list and then you add that, subtract this, add six, and then you test every step of the way. So that's Q2, 